It's a closure that has a ripple effect far beyond Metal Arc. The doors here are now closed, and several companies claim they have not been paid by the company, including Across America Logistics in Aurora, Illinois. My husband's worked like half of like few days for free. Regina Salimova says Metal Arc is the broker that connects the trucking companies with companies that need trucking services. And this has only been a problem recently for her and her husband to get paid. And my dispatch, he, he, took, he checked the Metal Arc rating. It was already bad, but he took a chances and he, he took the load because they used to be good. And they assured him that uh, they're going to pay. We also contacted Northline Logistics in Ontario, Canada, which claims it has not been paid for six months. We did a two couple of loads from Tulsa, Oklahoma to BC, and one day we did from Tulsa to Edmonton. Gramit Seed, who forwarded us an email from a former Metal Arc company's employee on Wednesday, stating Metal Arc filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy last Friday. We spoke with at least three other companies who also said they have not received payment for trucking work. Salimova talked about the challenges in the industry with the fuel costs and insurance. In my opinion, I think it's probably the economy maybe know, affected exactly. them. It's not a trucking industry is good, everybody is good, but uh, there are some bad apples in the market. And while they say the lack of payment is a setback, there's still opportunities for trucking companies. No, there's lots of companies that are good companies in the market, TQL, traffic tax. So we can start looking at other companies like that now. We talked with a person listed as president on the Metal Arc website who chose not to comment. It's not clear if that person left the company this week or earlier, and we have not heard back from anyone else at Metal Arc. In Billings, David J, MTN News.